Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. How long does it take you to get set up to do your videos? I think we've been monkeying around, or setting up, or doing whatever for at least 10 minutes. I um, was... Well, with your figuring out what you're going to do, probably even longer than that. Probably. I was tagged today by Life with Patty, and I'm going to do her tag. She tagged seven people, and I was having such a hard time choosing my seven people that I went through and I wrote down a lot of names. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. I have them in a bowl. I actually put them in a bowl. I've got lots of them in here. So many in here that I couldn't choose. So. I thought, well, the fair thing for me to do would be just choose out of the bowl, and that way I don't have to choose. It'll be the universe that chooses you instead of me. And also, I just had to put Silver Fox back in the gate. She was sitting, and Jim says, I was just about ready to sit down, and he says, Silver Fox is sitting outside of the gate, just sitting there. He thinks that she had only one baby, but both babies were there. She was sitting on the ground the babies were under her trying to stay warm and she was just sitting there and so I opened the gate and she walks in so apparently she's getting used to the idea that when she sees me I open the gate and she doesn't need to run away I had um, in my comments I got I think it was Gloria that asked um, which others may wonder too she did answer her own question but I will answer it again um, she asked why I lock the chickens in at night. They do have an electric fence, but I like to lock them in to make sure that they're more secure because if it's a large animal, they may just plow right through the fence. I don't know if they will or not. And um, it also blocks them from the bad weather that could be blowing in on them. It stops the rain, it stops the snow, and it stops a lot of the wind. So this way they stay warmer in their enclosed area. Okay, now for the tag. Well, actually, first let me draw the seven names. These are the seven people that are going to do this. I will put the questions in the more section, but this is I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the the people. I don't want to look at it because then you might think that I there's one. Oops, one, two. Got to do seven. She did seven. Three, four. Five, six, here comes lucky number seven, and, oops, seven. Okay, would you like to know who they are? I would. Let's see, who was it? Okay. Oh, Gray Wolf Foot Fitness, Craig. He's one. There's one. I'm not going to show you the names. It's uh, you, you can. It's be just like as if I was telling you. These are the people I'm going to tag. Um, Deb's way, Deb, Area 51 Farm. That's Dr. Beth. You know, some of you haven't done videos in a while. This will give you opportunity to do a video, too. Ghetto Van Dave, Liddy Mac. Ooh, well, these people. I'm so happy who was chosen because I liked all of them. But it's like, whoa. Okay. Cindy Vlogs, Cindy, um, she also does Burning Sands, but Cindy's vlog is what, and the Ozark Duke, Rusty. Yeah. Okay, so it's Rusty, Cindy, Craig, Dave, Deb, Liddy, and Dr. Beth. All of these people, I will save these pieces of paper because I will forget who I tagged, I'm sure, but they're all, oops, I dropped one. Oh yeah. dear, who did I drop? Oh, Liddy, you fell on the floor. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you could get back up. Okay, those will save. Thank you. Okay, now for the tag. Those are the ones I'm tagging. But if I didn't tag you and you'd like to do this tag, feel free. Life with Patty tagged me. Get to know me tag. It's a get to know me tag. You're going to get to know me a little better than what you did already. So let's see. All right. What is your name and okay. who named you? Okay, my name, my real name is Mary Grace. That's good. That's good enough, yeah. Mary Grace. I don't have a middle name because I was never, my father said that nobody needs middle names. I just happened to have a first name, and it, I think it was my mother that named me. She, she chose my name because she had three boys, and she named all of them, too. She named all of us. 
but she was praying to the Blessed Mother to intercede. Um, to, and so, so um, it was through the grace of God and the intercession of Mary that if she had a girl, she would name her Mary Grace. So that's how I got my name. How many siblings do you have? I have three older brothers and I have two younger sisters. And the only way I can figure out their age is I have to go from my age, which my age is 68, and then I go two years, 68, 69 is my brother Anthony, then I go three years, 69, 70, 71, 72 is Laurel, 73, 74, 75 is Joe. Yeah. He should be 76. Well, he might be. He hasn't had a birthday yet, oh, has yeah. he? Oh, yeah, he did. The 5th of April was Joe's birth. I don't know. Well, anyways, am I 60, 68, 68, 69, well, 70? Oh, Anthony, 70. I counted wrong. That's why. <laughs> Whoa, that's why. Okay, 68, 69, Anthony, 70. Oh, boy, it's hard when you get old, you know? <laughs> Anthony's 70, so Joey, Laurie is 73, so Joey is 76. He's like the 76 trombones led the hip parade. And then to get my sisters, I take away two and a half years for Anita, and I take away four years, almost five years, not okay. quite. Yeah. Almost. Is it five for Lucy? Mm -hmm. I don't know, somewhere in there for her. So that's, and they're younger than me. I was the first girl. So the boys first, then the girls. Okay. That's how many I have. There's six of us all together. Six kids. Okay. Were you close to your cousins growing up? Yes, I was very close to my cousins when we would go there on Sundays. And the funny part is when you went visiting, you had to wear your Sunday clothes when you went visiting, but you could always bring your shorts and your slacks or your play clothes to play in. So when you got there, you always looked like you were going to a party or going to church. And when you got there, you could switch into your play clothes, but you had to go looking pretty. And yes, we, we visited a lot with the cousins. Do you have a... Do you have, or did you have, a special bond with your grandparents? I was unfortunate and didn't have grandparents. My my grandmothers all died long before I was born, and my grand one grandfather died before I was born. The only grandpa I knew was my nanu, and he didn't know us. So when we'd say hi, nanu, and then we'd say our name because he didn't speak he didn't speak English. And um, we didn't speak Italian, <laughs> so it was, but no, we weren't close. We only saw him once in a blue moon. Did you enjoy high school? No, I hated high school. I really didn't. I didn't, you know, I was, um, I went to school to learn. I wasn't in the social realm of the popular, I was not pop, I wanted to be popular, but I wasn't. <laughs> okay, that's good enough with that. <laughs> this will be a hard one. Oh, what? What are your hobbies? Oh, good Lord. Well, I like to do a lot of things. I like to sing, which I'm not good at anymore. I like to play a lot of instruments, which I just cannot do, but I like you to play well. on them. I, 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 play by ear on a lot of things. I can read some music, but I prefer to just, I would like to be a star um, on these things, but you're not. I can crochet, I can knit, I can go with two needles for knitting, I can do four needles for knitting, I can do with those looms. I um, like to roller skate. I have been on a skateboard, but I'm not good at it. I have been on a pogo stick and I'm not good at it. I like to walk on stilts. I'm pretty good at that. Um, ride a bike. Well, that's kind of scary again. <laughs> Things with balance are, are scary. I don't know. What else do I like to do? I, I like to know. do almost anything and everything. I'm interested in a lot of stuff. Beads. You Bead. make I like beads, beading you... and like I like paper, paper art. I love paper art. I like to cut. I don't care to color so much, but I do like to cut. Cutting is fun. 
Cutting okay. paper, then. Paper, that's... yes. <laughs> <laughs> I cut hair, too. I like to cut anything that's got to be cut, that you don't give me a pair of scissors. I did cut my sister's hair once when I was, before I had a license, and man, my brother had to fix it. <laughs> it was a bad job. Okay. <laughs> what do you do to relieve stress? I bite my lips <laughs> and I take the skin off the lips. I don't, uh, you don't realize you're stressed, I guess, unless I'm biting my lips, then, I, then you know I'm a little stressed. So when I bite my lips, I used to bite my nails and then I used to bite the skin around the nails and then I went to biting the lips and I haven't quit that. I still do that. Oh, well, that's stress, what I do. Okay. Who is the longest friend you have? Well, probably you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jim is probably my <laughs> friend for life, I hope. And my young, I my hope so. my childhood friend Mark, I would consider him my longest friend. We were we are still friends. In fact, when we see each other, it's like we've never been apart. I like Mark. I used to call him Marky. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? If I, I don't really have a favorite movie, but if I had to watch a movie, and I've watched it several times, is The Tenth Kingdom. I, I liked that, but it's a long, very long movie. But that I enjoyed. What is your favorite book? Well, I don't really have favorite books, but I do like the Irma Bob Beck book, If Life is a Bowl of Cherries, Why Am I Always in the Pits? And I like the Dr. Lehman book, How to Make Your Children Mind Without Losing Yours, and I have those here. I don't, I can't find the, the Irma Bombeck book when my library gets made, which he said is getting close. I will be able to find all my books. I like, this, this is just a picture book, and it's just laugh lines, and it's just got pictures, and, and it's like little old people. <laughs> and there's little things that, that you read that, um, it just makes you laugh. And this one makes me, the one of the three ladies makes me think of a joke, but I can't remember the joke at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I did find, I did find my um, etiquette book, which Mrs. Demure, Miss Demure. Miss Demure, Miss, she's a Miss. Okay, I did find that, I like that one. And then the Make Your Children Mind Without Losing Yours, this one was a good one with, with Dr. Lehman. This is when he was young, when he wrote this book. His picture of the family is so young on the back. He's a pretty old guy now. And I like this Ann Getty book. This one's like one that just sits on the on the table or sits around. And it's Coffee got, table book. It's got, if you know the Ann Getty's artwork and things, it just, it, they're just pretty. They're just fun to look at and puzzles. Like if you've ever done an Ann Getty puzzle, they're just fun. It's, this is just a, just a picture book that I like and the kids like and, and, the, and the front is pretty. It's got a nice little butterfly on it. Okay. Pictures of babies. Pictures of babies, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, favorite thing to do on a stormy day? <laughs> I like to look outside and th say, oh, thank goodness I don't have to go out in that. That's what I like to do on a stormy day. <laughs> I just like to think. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you for not letting me have to be out there. Okay. Favorite thing to do when the weather is perfect? When the weather is nice outside. I like to spend time outside. Just get out in the air and I will putter around. I don't have anything special that I do. I might sit on the porch and watch the cars go by. Or I might just walk the yard or smell the flowers or check the plants and check the birdhouses. That's the stuff I like to do. Uh, do you prefer the big city or a small town? Well, <laughs> uh, it depends on what I'm doing. If if I, like when I go to my son's, his is, I don't know if his is a big city. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a big, That's city. a big city. They've got lots of stores that we don't have, and I sort of like that because you get to go to places that you've never seen. If we're camping... I want to be in a busy campground. I don't want to be in a country campground that's got everybody's so spread out. I like the commotion of the ocean because I don't have that here. It's quieter. I don't see anybody, so I would like to see people, and I like the shops. I guess so. I, so I guess, do I prefer city? 
to visit. Do I prefer a country to live? Yes. What is the first thing you want to do when this virus is over or under control? Or I finally... don't know. I don't have anything planned. I, I don't know. I, I, there's nothing, you know, this is not affecting me in that sense because I don't go anywhere anyways and I don't care to go anywhere. So this has been perfect for me. The only thing is it would be nice if um, people visited, but they didn't visit before, so they're not going to visit when it's done either. So I have nothing planned for this. So is that everything? That that's was everything. all of the questions? That's all of them. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am done. And if you'd like to do the, the tag, feel free to do it. And I will name the names again. May I have those pieces of paper? My paper. They're right behind you. And... Or who thought that you were my somebody said that they liked the way my son and I <laughs> it's, it makes me laugh because he's never in front of the camera but it's my husband that's that's reading that's doing the talking on the off screen okay area 51 farm dr. Beth ghetto van which is Dave Liddy MC Mac I don't know how she would say it. And it's Liddy. Um, the Ozark Duke, which is Rusty. Cindy Vlogs, which is Cindy. Gray Wolf Fitness, which is Craig. And Deb's Way, which is Deb. To um, do the tag, if you would, please. I would, And if you do do it, please let me know so I can come and watch it. I will watch you anyways, I'm sure, because I watch everybody. That anybody that was in that bowl, I watch you all. So I'm sure I would catch you eventually. I might be a little behind on catching you because sometimes I get behind on my videos because I do have to watch some things that I'm really interested in, which is documentaries. I really like documentaries. And so um, anything that can teach me something that I don't know or refresh my mind of something that I maybe do know, but I like to hear it again and again. So that's it. Okay, well, have a great night, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.